Hi, my name is Steve Blaze, and today I'm going to show you how to add animations to your images and your text boxes and any other objects you add into Slide Rocket. So, first thing you're going to do is select the object you want to add the animation to, and then you're going to come over to your work menu over here, your toolbars, select the arrow. Just going to remove this one out. Now, once you select the text, select the animation. Now you can add a build. The animations are called build in Slide Rocket. So we're just going to add them. And you'll see you have many of choices. You have appear, fade, wipe, fly, glow, sparkle, scale, blur, materialize, typewriter, fly, zoom, spin. Now you'll notice for each one I select, there's sub-menus within them. For example, you have your timing options for each of them. You have your direction that you want the particular effect to appear in. And you also have some uh, directions over here as well. You want to animate the text, each character or word, or all the text. The spread, the delay between items when animating the characters. So you can lower that if you want. And easing, you want it to be bouncy, you want it to be just smooth and clean, completely up to you. Once you select your options, I prefer automatically unless you want to be complete control, you can preview what your, what your animation looks like. So if we did a fade, here's what the fade looks like. You can adjust all options of the fade as well. You can fade it in, fade it out. Wipe. Glow. And for glow, um, it's noted that you can change the color of the glow as well. Which is pretty cool. We have sparkle, which is, I think, is a slide rocket, kind of almost a trademark effect. It looks really sweet. Scale. You can scale it in, scale it out, each word, each character. Again, lots of options for each, each animation. Blur does exactly what you think. Materialize, you want it to just appear. Kind of with a blur sort of effect. Typewriter. And again, you can adjust each character, each word, the spread. And let's see, we have one more. We have the fly zoom spin. Kind of flies in, does exactly what it says. Now I'm going to apply effect to each one of these objects. So make sure each object you want an effect to, make sure um, you select and add the animation or the build. So I have this fly in. Actually, I want to have this sparkle. And I just want to have this painting um, selected. And I want this one just to kind of glow with, uh, let's say, like a nice blue. All right, now you can, you can toggle the order of the animations depending on what, how you want them to appear. Select preview. And there you have it. And that's how you add animations in Slide Rocket.